Good afternoon, Mark Sutter, HurricaneTrack.com, here with your Hurricane and Hurricane HD video blog for the middle of November, the 15th of November. Nothing going on out there, as you would expect. Just two weeks to go until the hurricane season is officially over. Very strong upper-level winds out here, even though we do have a disturbance. Strong upper-level winds are going to tear it apart. We do have a pretty big ocean storm, non-tropical, sitting out here to the north of Bermuda. May head on up towards the Canadian Maritimes and Atlantic Canada, Newfoundland specifically, spreading some inclement weather up there, but nothing anywhere else in the tropical or subtropical Atlantic. Sometimes you get these cold, low-pressure centers that will work their way down to the surface enough as they ride around the periphery of the Atlantic high-pressure areas that sit out here from time to time, and these might get a name once in a while, you remember stuff like that at the tail end of the season where you get these sort of rogue storms that form out here. They don't amount to anything. They don't bother anybody except shipping interests, but they might add a name or two to the list. I don't see anything like that coming up, so that's good. Also good, very good, is the evolution of this nor'easter where on Monday and Tuesday it looked like it could be a very ugly event for the northeast areas where Sandy impacted. Now, not so much. This is the Euro forecast for 72 hours from now, and this is valid on Sunday morning. And you've got this big area of high pressure sitting over the northeast United States, and then way down south, low pressure starting to develop off the southeast coast. By day four, that starts to consolidate a little bit. Large area of energy and low pressure developing here off the Carolina coast with a sprawling area of high pressure over the northeast. But then, instead of this system by day five hugging the coast and becoming a real problem here for the mid-Atlantic, it starts to move off farther away out to sea, which is very, very good news. It's not as intense as it was once advertised being in the models by day six. You see it moving well out to sea, centered here, at at least 60 degrees of longitude way out away from the United States. So excellent news there. Not as big a worry at all. It'll still kick up the seas, maybe have a little bit of an increase of the wave action, but that is it. By day 7, it's gone way on out to sea between 40 and 60 degrees west longitude way out here in the open Atlantic of only interest to the sword fishing fleets and commerce-based shipping right, those giant tankers with all of the shipping containers on them that you've seen pictures of, I'm sure. That will be the only concern uh, from a storm such as this, which is great news. And no big travel problems now, it looks like, for Thanksgiving week, and no big problems for people along the coast who are still trying to put their lives back together uh, in the wake of Sandy. So there you go. Some good news today. Again, I'm Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, my website. It's been a privilege this season to provide you with these video blogs on Hurricane and Hurricane HD. Only a couple more weeks to go. Uh, with that being said, I will be back tomorrow. We'll talk about something. And then before the end of the season here, I'm going to have a very nice recap uh, of where we were all season, what the different storms were all about, how many we had, just kind of going over a season in review. So look forward to that. Uh, before the season wraps up here in a couple weeks. Otherwise, I'll see you back here tomorrow with another video blog then.